player is waiting. Waiting to go through that door. Steve continues to be an emotional wreck. But we can understand that. All right. What lies behind the mysterious golden gun door? The lock has been released. No heartbeat or anything on that one. Claire was not scared about going through that door. More bullets. Let's see, what can we look at in here? An old photo stand is placed here. There, there is a fireplace. It does not appear to have been used recently, though. Antique music box. Nothing we can do with that, though. Or is there? Thick books are lined up here. I think Alfred reads these books. Or does he just have a library for show? Got paintings. You can see the Grim Reaper. Claire is not observing it, though. And this one... That is like a naked man. Uh, apparently... In... Victorious over... I don't know what that is he's standing over. Apparently, he decapitated someone. Wish we could get more detail about what's going on here. But we cannot. Something's written on the memo. First digit. Left, right. Well, you know, maybe I should just make a note of this. Left. Right. And then right, right, right. Now, what's that referring to? Four digits. I must not reset while maneuvering. No resetting. None. There's no power going to this. I should turn it on. Alfred really likes this home movie. It's a precious memory. He uses it as a screensaver. I don't know if they have any more home movies. But he really likes this one. Enter the password. I do not... Oh, it's a four-digit password. Uh, we do not have a password, however. But this thing over here just turned on. There is a button. Press button? Well, the first direction was left. And then right. Which gives us one. The second digit was left. Which gives us nine. The next one was right. Which gives us seven. One, nine, seven. And then lastly was right. Right. And right. One, nine, seven, one. AA. Perhaps a birth year. Like this came out in 2000. We saw Alfred. This takes place in... Two, oh, no, this, the game takes place in 1998. It looks like he could have been born... If this is 1998, he looks like he could have been born in 71. Sure. All right. Secret door got open. Hey, now. You opened the secret door. You're not supposed to solve the puzzle. Only Alfred's supposed to go through that. Please, miss. Please. So these guys can be a problem if you only have the handgun. The knife actually works pretty well against them if you get up close. But bowgun with explosive rounds is, is very good against them. All right, secret door opened.
So we are in the residence. The private residence. Remember, Alfred said he did not want anyone to see Alexia's beauty. So she was, you know, she was going to be alone in the residence. Except for the banter snatches. You can trust them. Ow. Ow. They hit me a whole bunch. That's rude. They can also use their arms as grappling hooks, basically. But something that might be even more of a problem. Bats. Ow. They're large bats. There we go. How are we doing on health? Yellow. Okay. I thought maybe I would be in orange because of all of those uh, all of those slaps, but no, we're only in yellow. That's not bad. That's a. It's a foot right there. That's what that is. Look at that foot. Various books, politics, literature, science. Nothing useful, that's right. Claire making a statement. Politics, literature, science, useless. Who needs it? Claire getting spicy with her political opinions. A marble desk. Some figures and images are placed on it. Nothing useful here. An assortment of creepy dolls are showcased here. Perhaps these are to the liking of the resident. Maybe so. Also, let me equip this, I think. Yeah, I thought that was the case. A fireplace. There's plentiful supply of firewood here. Well, okay, why don't we set a fire? Shed some light in the room. There we go. It's nice and bright now. There's some nice ambiance with the fireplace in here. Nothing useful here. Nothing useful here. There's like a doll with like, I don't know, a hole in the face. It's not useful. Maybe just a little creepy. Ink ribbon? Nah. So, what a mess. So there doesn't seem like there's actually anything useful in this room. There's like some, some bow gun arrows. And this fireplace makes it look like there's going to be like a, a puzzle maybe of some kind. And there is a bandersnatch. To fight. Some armors on display here. Appear to be very old. Nothing unusual. And some ha some ammo. I don't think there's anything else in this room. There's like, I don't think there's a reason to come in this room. You probably wouldn't want to because of the bandersnatch. Alright, let's head upstairs. And, uh, it's a little, little dark in here. Yeah, get a little light going, a little light source. Can we observe these? No. So, Alexia seems to really like dolls. Big ones that you hang from the ceiling. Keep focus, brother. Our enemy is only a little girl. Oh, why is this taking so long? 
My apologies, Alexia, but I have been doing my best. The revival of the Ashford family depends on your success, brother. I am aware of that, Alexia. I will revive the family name myself and make you the master of the glorious Ashford family. Do not worry, brother. I will handle them both myself. Who is there? Is someone at the corridor? What is it, Alexia? N nothing. I believe I must have been imagining things. Let us go, brother. So there are the, uh, the Ashfords. You know, the two siblings talking to each other about restoring the glory of the family name. As siblings will do. I don't know if you have a sibling. I have a brother. Sometimes, you know, we don't talk that much. Sometimes when we do, we discuss, you know, this and that and restoring the glory of the family name. It's just, I don't know, the things siblings talk about. I like how they, the, the Ashfords seem like they're from a different game. Like, Resident Evil's 1, 2, and 3 had its outrageous characters, but they seem like they should be in... They seem like they want to be in a period piece. Like some sort of Victorian horror. They're not. They want to be. A large-sized doll. Possibly custom-made. All right. Well, this is the room that the Ashfords were in. Why don't we say hello? Except, they're not here. Where'd they go? There's a ladder. The hole in the ceiling has been sealed. So much for that. Relief seems to resemble a goddess. There are gorgeous furnishings here. Nothing useful. Claire rejects the luxury of the wealthy, this disgusting, ostentatious display of money. Disgusting. More disgusting than zombies, Claire says. This music box is playing a beautiful melody. Something's written on the back of the lid. Red Queen and Blue King return. The path opens. Let's stop the music. Well, yeah, stopping the music box causes, uh, the thing over the bed to rise. We get a silver key! I don't know. Okay, yeah, would you want to sleep in that bed? I guess the Ashfords are fine with it. They're just used to the their bed being like that. It's always been like that. You get used to it. The music box is locked. I can't take out the music plate. The red jewel is embedded by an opening. Looks like an ant. All right, so by stopping the music, we locked the box, but we also caused, like, the bed uh, roof to rise up, allowing us to get the silver key. Key made of pure silver. The Ashford's family crest is carved on it. Yeah, you can see the crest right there. We did see a couple of silver doors in the palace. Gorgeous furnishings. Anything else? Antique dolls are on display. They could be Alexia's. Maybe. By the way, how often do you see a window from a room to a hallway? Interior window. Like, you can just look in their bedrooms if you're in the hallway. I don't know why you'd want that. I mean, I guess we needed it for the cutscene. There seems to be no one inside. A bust. Nothing unusual. Mm. 
Miscellaneous books are piled up here. No more books! History is the topic of many of these books. Claire was never really one for history. Professional biology books are piled up here. Books on chemicals are piled up here. So many books, they have nowhere to put them. Large size doll. Nothing useful. A common picture. What does that mean? So Claire thinks this is common. All right, a second bedroom with another music box. This one's blue. Oh, a journal. Message card. My dear brother, uh, my dear brother, I firmly believe that the glory of the Ashford family will be revived through your courage and strength as an honored soldier. Yours faithfully, Alexia Ashford. By the way, that says, uh, I think that says 10 years anniversary of, I'm trying to, I have to move the text to see it, of something. I can't, I can't read the name. It says like two, it's either two or 10 year, it's anniversary. It's not what the message says. <laughs> you look, you're not supposed to see it that clearly. Ignore that. It appears to be a relief. It seems to be a woman's back. The other room had the front. Exquisite furnishings. Nothing useful. Alright, so that's everything. <clears throat> and we got the silver key. We got that key, which means we can go back to the palace. Open up some silver doors. Pardon. I, I said pardon. Ow. Ow. Let me see something. Yeah, uh, no, still in yellow caution, still in yellow. I thought their smacks would do more damage, honestly. Well, why don't we use this convenient herb right here? Still in yellow. All right, let's drop off a couple items. Um, put this bow gun ammo away. The first aid spray can also go away for the moment. All right, one of the silver doors is right here on this floor. I will use that key. And it's a casino. Wow. The Ashfords even have their own private casino. I guess they must have guests. Like other dignitaries or su some such. Maybe umbrella officials coming to the island. And, you know, they're going to entertain them at the casino. Slot machines, 
One of them is turned on, yes. The Kingmaker. The second one says seven stars. The third one says... I can't really... Golden... Golden Gold? I don't know if... Not sure if that's what that says. It might say Golden Gold. But only the Kingmaker is turned on. But we can't actually use it. All right, we got bow gun powder. We can make more explosive rounds for the bow gun. We can stand out on this balcony. I mean, there's nothing, there's nothing there. But you just got like a little alternate viewport uh, view of the main the main hall. Claire does not seem to have anything to say about this roulette table. Uh, maybe she does not play it. An antique grand piano. It's designed so it reads out data. Right, so... It's a player piano. But we don't have the ca the roll. The thing to put in the piano to make it play a tune. Uh, we can't get- we can't get into the dealer position. Got some green herbs. There we go. We got a status of fine again. How do you get into this bar? Ah, uh, like, may- oh, um, Okay, maybe that's the entrance right there. Yeah, I think you can see, like, a little gap in the bar right there. Alright, so... We do not have what we need to turn on the player piano. We'll just remember that, that we do need to go back to this casino once we have whatever it is we need. The other silver door was over here. And I think I want to equip this. All right, that's the silver key done. Get rid of it. Throw it on the floor. Eat it. Swallow it whole. No one will ever see it again. Yeah. Oh, I shot at another one. Whoop. Oh, I'm out. Let's see how far away I can get from it. I can, it has a long reach. Let's see if we can get it on screen. Well, no, the camera angle changed. Ow. There we go. It's down. So they, they are a bit of a threat if you don't have a good enough weapon. But we came in here to get this, the eagle plate. I'm an orange caution now. Getting serious. Ashford's family crest. An eagle grasps a gold halberd. The indigo blue plate portion appears to be made of special alloy. Well, we've seen a couple of places where we saw an, an indigo indentation that looks something like this. Maybe we should remember that. We have, like, this meeting room. Big, uh, big VIPs getting together to talk about heady issues, I guess. It's a slide projector. Doesn't seem to be working perfectly. Well, yeah, something of interest is here. It's Hunk's report. Hey, remember Hunk? Looks like Hunk paid a visit to the island. Attention, Mr. Alfred Ashford, head of the facility. Today at 1632, I arrived successfully from the Umbrella Transport Base with the large-scale BOW capsule. 
Extreme care was taken during transport, and all 108 checkpoints were confirmed condition green in accordance with standard procedures. It's currently being stored in a freezer. There's one thing that I don't understand. We're normally assigned to special missions. Why were we ordered to transport a frozen capsule this time? I understand that this may be classified as top secret, but without knowledge of the contents, our safety could be at risk during the transport. This is especially important if the contents are potentially harmful. We would like to ask you to provide us with more information should we be assigned similar missions in the future. I still remember the good old days that I spent here in the military training center. Nothing has changed since then. We will gear up the next mission today at 2300. Umbrella Special Forces Unit, Hunk. So this is where Hunk was trained, in the military training facility. And uh, he came here with his team to drop off a large capsule. That's probably nothing. Don't worry about the large capsule. What's in the capsule? Eh, you don't really need to know what's in the large frozen capsule that you're transporting here. I don't think there's anything else in here to look at. All right, so we used our silver key. Considering my health situation, maybe I should take this now. Getting walloped by the Bandersnatch Eye, taking its toll. All right, let's head back up to that save room. Let's see. Let's get an, a green herb. Um, I want to get my bow gun ammo out. Take a mixed herb. Combine bow gun arrow with explosives to make more ammo of that. Let's put this away. All right. All right, so we have this indigo plate. One of the locations where we could use the indigo plate was in the military training facility. There was another one in the prison. Uh, that we'll go to the training facility one first. I think Steve is still grieving over his dad. Just give him time. Just give him time. Even even someone as tough as Steve needs a uh, needs all the time he needs to just get some closure on the dad situation. Oh, this one, I can't, I can't open this one yet. Uh, the ventilation of the biology room is still not complete. That was where Mr. Careless was killed. It's still ventilating. I have the card key for it, but I can't use it yet. But I can't open this one again. And this time, Alfred is not here to lock it behind us. Oh, hello. Forgot, forgot about them. Alright, so we ran by this impression, this indentation earlier. Let's use a plate. Clank it down. 
All right, we got the emblem card. Another card key. Got two card keys. We're busting with card keys. This is a card key shining in indigo blue. I can use this at the military training facility. Yeah, so we've seen some blue card key locks. It's an emergency card. We now have the blue key. Where can we use this blue key? Well, there's a convenient one right over here. It's a breaker for the ventilation device. It's currently sent to the on position. Well, we don't want to do anything with that. We want it to be ventilated. Card key, card key reader. And now I have the card for that. All right. Now, when Steve was going through this area, you might remember that there was something uh, of interest that we couldn't get yet. Yeah, it's behind those bars. And it is the grenade launcher. So we've seen some grenade ammo here and there. Uh, we we're not able to use it yet. M79G launcher. This uses 40 mm rounds. Well, actually, I don't think I need to go in this room. Yeah, we might as might as take a look at our grenade launcher. Yeah, I thought someone was in here. Ow. Eh. Wow, he survived that. Back in yellow caution. Alright, well, here's a room. Can we do anything in this room? Actually, no. Not as of yet. Here's a control panel for a turntable. There's no power. We can't operate this. Boxes? We got boxes. Can't do anything with these boxes. Elevator? Switch is broken. Can't do anything with that elevator. There's a door here. It appears to have been destroyed violently. It's possible that the T-Virus leaked from here. Yeah, Alfred said that during the attack, the T-Virus they were experimenting on escaped from the lab. So maybe this is that location. Maybe this is the room where the T-Virus was. Can't go in. It's venting the gas. Antibacterial work clothes are stored here. Yeah, can't do anything here either. some more bowgun arrows. Might as well take them. A switchboard. Tightly sealed. I can't operate that. Yeah, nothing here for us as of yet. And this door is where? Oh, hey, there's... Thing up th There's like a... Explosive rounds up there. Oh, can I actually push a box over there? To get that? We're on the other side of these boxes. I mean, if you could, I guess that would... Actually be something, a reason to go in this room at this time. Like, there are boxes over here. Can I get on top of this? I can't get on top of that. And I... There's no room for me to, like, get behind them and push them. But there is, like, explosive ammo on top of that. 
Well, maybe I'll just need to remember that for later. If I ever get to the point where I could push the boxes. Acid rounds behind the locked door, but we don't have a lockpick. Can't open that. There's a handgun part placed on the work desk. Cannot be used with mine. Well, this desk can be used to upgrade a handgun. Just not our handgun. Chemicals for gun maintenance. Don't need that. You can take handgun bullets as a treat. And over here, we have some grenade rounds. What does it say about the grenade rounds? These can be used with the grenade launcher. Thanks. Grenade three. It's right. It's correct, though. It can be used with the grenade launcher. All right, we got the grenade launcher, which was the main reason in going into that room. Uh, by going this way, we can get back to the elevator. And stop at the scary face. For bullets? I guess they were sitting in the mouth? A weird looking face. Carrying bullets. All right, so where are we going? Let's try the first floor. We have not been in this room yet. It seems to be a picture of this room. Odd to have a picture of the room in the same room. But this room does look a little bit different than the picture. According to this picture, there's something in the middle of the room. And there's two paintings. Here, there's nothing in the middle of the room. There is a painting, but where the other painting would be, there's an indigo plate. And we will take that. There's evidence that a picture was hung here. Maybe we should consider that. A man's portrait is displayed here. That man looks like he's having a good old time posing in the blue sky. If only he had some sort of uh, counterpart of a skeleton posing against a red sky in the same room. Imagine such a thing. All right, I have a, I have another indigo plate. So, we could use that on the other indigo indentation that was in the prison. First, let's go up to the second floor. And we can now open this one with our emblem card. I think this is the last time we need this one. Ah! It's frightening. I no longer need this card. All right, so we've done all of the indigo, uh, indigo locks.
Various commands may have been given from here. They just may. Some sort of presentation on the screen. The albinoid description. A creature which is created by injecting the T-virus into the genes of a salamander. You know, as a joke. We love doing that. Characteristics. That's what it looks like. Similar to a normal amphibian, an albinoid's body will change as it grows with age. When young, an albinoid is small in size, but it can grow to over seven feet in a very short time frame. Ten plus hours. They possess high mobility and are able to discharge electricity. These characteristics are most notable when they are underwater in their adult form. Does it say anything different? No, this is the same thing. Well, that does sound frightening. Good thing we don't have to worry about that. No albinoids around here. I haven't seen any albinoids. Now why don't we take some green herbs? Now we should also combine this with this. There we go. And we get the army proof. The second hexagon. We got the navy proof earlier. Now we have army. Let's take a closer look at that. Hex-shaped stone object. Picture of a jeep is carved on it. Special army force from the north side of SRY. SB SBY? It's hard to see. Two military proofs. Biohazard breakout in the bio-experiment room. Let's take a look at it. All right, we got the surveillance camera. He seems to be dead. Poor Mr. Careless. Well, there is something else in here maybe we want to look at. There's nothing spe- no? Okay, I, I guess it doesn't- I need to get a little bit- Oh, the number wasn't on screen. Gotta get- gotta get that on the screen more. There it is. There's a number. The number 1126. Ah, 6, not 5. 1126 is written here. And what a coincidence, the bio-experiment room has finished ventilating. All right. Passcode is 1126. Oh, yeah, that was a good nap. Hey, were you using the surveillance camera? Because that's supposed to be off limits. You got to have certain clearance to use the camera. We got classified uh, experiments going on here. And I don't think, I know, I'm pretty sure you're a prisoner here. That does not mean you can just walk around willy-nilly and use the cameras as you, as you please. We unlock this. And that takes us out back here. So now... Yeah, something we can do... Why don't I just... I'm starting to, starting to run out of space, but there is a box up here. Yeah, this is the, the door that closed behind us when Alfred trapped us in his danger zone.
Let's see. <clears throat> well, I still have explosive arrows. I'll keep that and put the grenade launcher away for the time being. I have indigo plate. I don't need the, the proof yet. Uh, these items should be fine. So, since after using the camera, the gas finished ventilating, that does mean that that one door over here, the alarm is stopped. Now the door can be opened again. And I think this is the last time we use the biohazard card. That's right, we no longer need it. Get it out of here! Throw it up in the air, and then shoot it full of holes. This door still does not have a doorknob. We can't open it. When will someone repair that door? Where's the custodian? Alright, so we saw on the painting, it was one, one, two, six. Experimental objects may have been put inside. Acid rounds? We love a good acid round. It's very powerful, you know, especially against living things. A special bullet filled with sulfuric acid. He's already dead. It's cracked. Maybe something escaped through the crack? Possibly was destroyed from the inside with great force. Nothing useful. Nothing useful in here. This doesn't seem to be working. I can't open it. But there is something in here. It appears to be alive. The capsule is labeled Baby Albinoid. Yeah, we read about the Albinoid. There's one right there. Fortunately, it's secure. But, you know, there's one thing Claire really wants. Look at this painting. It's, uh, it calls to us. Contamination detected. Level 3. Emergency shutters will close. All personnel evacuate immediately. Well, call to the albinoid as well. Oh no, it's raining albinoids! There's so many of them coming down from the ceiling. Also, there's a time limit. Also, there's poison gas. Also, the place is going to get locked up permanently once the time limit reaches zero. So many things happened when we took that painting. All right, well, all of those baby albinoids are securely in there, except for that one, which got out through a vent. That's probably fine. All right, so this never opens again. This stays closed forever. But on the bright side, we got this. Can we get that right side up? There we go. A human skeleton is outlined in blood. I know. Just staring at it, it seems like it calls to us. Like, like it might come out from the frame. And, ah! It's frightening. You never know what you're gonna. You never know what you're gonna get. Unexpected results. 
Never let your guard down. We should take a red herb because we need to keep our guard up. Let's see, where are we going? Right, I don't want to go that way. I want to go back to that room where the painting needed to go, which is this way. Right, we can take the elevator from here. And I might want to use another green herb, because I'm hurt again. Seems to be happening a lot. Don't need to use a red one yet. Save that red one. Yeah, there was something over here. Handgun bullets. This door is blocked. I believe the room on the other side is the one where Steve is grieving. But there's something blocking that door. There will always be something blocking that door. Alright, here we are. What happens when we give that one painting its pair? But of course, human skeleton appears to be drawn here. It gives me the creeps. Yeah, in, inside of all of us, there are two men, one with skin, one without, battling eternally. I got that gold key. It's a diorama model after this facility. There's a hole to put something in, yeah. If you think about the outside of the training facility, and you think about the room where that hole is, what is there in real life? Is there something there? What needs to go here? Well, can't think about that right now. It's secured with a simple lock. I do not, I cannot, I cannot open a simple lock, Claire says. We do not have a lock pick. A memorial plate. There is some writing on it. Dedicated to the training facility's completion, December 8th, Alfred Ashford. You know, it doesn't matter what year it is. It was finished on December the 8th. Could have been any year. Okay, gold key. A golden key? The Ashford family crest is carved on it. So there is a gold door in the palace. We could go there. But something else we could do is, you know, maybe we could finally get around to going back to the prison and give, you know, Rodrigo his medicine. He's been waiting a while. Look, I'm sure he's fine. He seemed tough. He can take a few hours of uncontrollable bleeding. He can tough it out. Walk it off, you know? Mm -hmm. 
so when we go back to the prison, we want to take our indigo plate. I can put away the acid rounds and this red herb. Take the indigo plate, and we're wa gonna want to take the uh, the hemostatic. There we go. But as for right now, Rodrigo can wait, you know, a little while longer, as we're gonna save a game. Look, we're, we're thankful that he let us out of that cell. But we, we got things to do! Well, we're in the tea facility right now. Tea facility RR! And, uh, we'll say, we'll, we'll say goodnight for Code Veronica right now. As we continue on, um, so we've been Steve-less for a bit. Um, I know, I know you're missing him already. As we learned about his tragic backstory, Claire has been going around back and forth doing this and that. Opening doors, unlocking locks, getting items. She's getting things done. Um, we, we infiltrated the private residence of the Ashfords. Um, we got a gold key. We have the hemostatic. We have a second indigo plate. So, as we continue on with Code Veronica, we're going to be heading back to the prison. Uh, we thought we were done with the prison. We escaped the prison. But we're going back one more time to help out Rodrigo with his medicine as well as open up that other indigo door. What's it all for? Well, you know, it's Resident Evil. It's about finding keys to find more keys to find more keys and eventually Claire will find that one big key that opens up the exit uh, from this island so she can get back to the real business at hand finding her brother which is kind of Claire's entire character where's Chris why isn't Chris right here now that's what everyone should be saying when Chris is not on screen. Claire's saying that. She's always saying this. Where is where is my brother? And then people have to say, I don't know where your brother is. And then she has to kill some zombies to find out where her brother is. Well, she's still at it. But maybe Chris might come. Steve doesn't think he will. Claire believes he will. Who will be right? Who... Whose opinion will be the correct one? Maybe we'll find out as we continue on with Code Veronica. I mean, Chris is on the on the, the title card. He's also on the title. You can see him right there. You can. I mean, he's, you can kind of tell he's showing up. 